Love is Enough by William Morris Love is enough though the world be a waning and the woods have no voice but the voice of complaining though the skies be too dark for dim eyes to discover the gold cups and daisies fair blooming thereunder though the hills be held shadows and the sea a dark wonder and this day draw a veil over all deeds passed over yet their hands shall not tremble their feet shall not falter the void shall not weary the fear shall not alter these lips and these eyes of the loved and the lover okay this poem was written by william morris um William Morris, he's a Victorian poet from about 1830 to maybe the late 1890s. Um, during his lifetime he was best known as a poet, but today he's best known as one of the creators of the arts and crafts movement. Yeah, the uh, arts, the style of arts and crafts and arts and crafts design. Okay, so let's look at the poem. I think the basic theme of this poem is love conquers all. Yeah, though the world around us can be uh, full of uh, dreadful things and uh, problems and frightening situations and difficulties, um, love conquers all of this. The uh, loved one and the lover are live in a world which is separate from this and the uh, out the outside world cannot penetrate that yeah they are uh they have an uh, ultimate strength so love is enough though the world be a waning and the woods have no voice but the voice of complaining so the world be a waning. To wane means to decrease. The moon waxes and wanes. So the world is, things are getting worse. The world is going to hell on a hand, in a handbasket. Yeah? So love is enough despite the fact that the world is getting worse. And the woods have no voice but the voice of complaining. So, um, here the woods are uh, to me this is talking about save it saving uh, our planet yeah and this is more than a hundred years old yeah so the woods have no voice but except the voice of complaining so the the, the woods are complaining about what's happening to them i think this is maybe talking about the industrial revolution and uh, the way the world has changed since he was young though the skies be too dark for t dim eyes to discover the gold cups and daisies fair blooming thereunder so gold cups these are buttercups yeah it's another uh, these are little yellow plants and daisies so the buttercups and daisies are blooming, are blooming beautifully, but the sky is too dark, yeah, but the situation is so dark, yeah, that our eyes can't discover um, these, the beauty of the flowers um, flowering under this sky. So they're under, under the skies, under these dark skies that are too, too dark, too obscure for our eyes to see. Um, so it, this is continuing with this, this start, love is enough, despite um, situations where, which are so grim that you can't see the, the, uh, the beauty of the world around you. Though the hills be held shadows and the sea a dark wonder. Okay, so uh, love is enough. Love, love will prevail. Yeah, even though the hills are 
covered in shadows, so the future looks bleak and dark, and the sea a dark wonder, so the sea looks ominous, so everything around us looks, uh, <laughs> looks like it's going to be a disaster. Yeah, And this day draws a veil over all deeds passed over. So I think this day is talking to this day with dark skies and uh, shadows over the hills and uh, dark seas, yeah? And this, th th this day, ha it's, uh, there's a veil, a cover over everything that's happened. So here, again, it's, it's, mm, there's this metaphor of the the uh, the world around us and uh, the things and uh, nature and the bad things that can happen to us yeah but all of despite all of this it starts with this first line love is enough yeah and then it goes on yet their hand shall not tremble so there there is talking about the lovers yeah so However, despite all of these bad things on the horizon, yeah, despite the fact that there is unemployment and war and depression and disease and uh, dreadful things happening around them, the lovers, their hands will not tremble, they won't shake and their feet shall not falter. They will continue going in in the direction that, that they want to go in. To falter means um, to not continue or to trip or, yeah, so their feet shall not falter, they will continue on their path. The void shall not weary, okay? So the void will not make the lovers tired, the void, the emptiness, yeah, the emptiness around them. The fear shall not alter. Okay, so fear and being afraid of these situations around, um, around this pair of lovers, yeah? And none of these things are going to change. These lips and these eyes of the loved and the lover. So here, I, I, it's got the idea of the uh, um, lovers looking at each other, and I think the lips and kissing and looking at each other. And uh, despite all of this um, dark, dark world it described above, and uh, here this world, it's talking about the, the physical destruction and dark uh, of the world that we're living in. And I think it's also talking about uh, fear and worry and problems in life. Yeah, and it's saying that love will conquer all. So I think at the end of the day, this poem is quite positive. Yeah, it's saying love is more important than all of these things, and it will get us through all our trials and tribulations. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Love is Enough by William Morris.